Hi, I'm Doc Rivers, head coach and president of the Los Angeles Clippers. I'm also a proud honorary board member of Central Florida First Tee. This is what the First Tee of Central Florida is all about. Not many players get their introduction to golf from the best player of her era. Good morning, everyone. Annika Sorenstam's starring role in the launch event for the Central Florida chapter of the First Tee shows not only the commitment of Sorenstam and her Annika Foundation to the welfare of children, but the power of the First Tee in attracting resources and people to help children learn about life through golf. I remember, you know, it wasn't that long ago that I was in their shoes and, and I, you know, I'm very lucky with, with my life and, you know, I think of my career and where golf has taken me and, and you know, I want to share that. I want to, you know, share the passion and share the knowledge and give them a chance to, you know, set some goals and be able to achieve their dreams uh, through the game that I love so much. The first tee of Central Florida has provided these unique moments to hundreds of youth in our area. From the kids who heard from Arnold Palmer at his own golf tournament, as well as PGA Tour winners like Boo Weekly and inspirational golf heroes like Dennis Walters, the first tee of Central Florida is making an impression on children across the region. The first tee is so much more than just golf. It gives kids a chance in life through golf. And I thought, what a great organization to be a part of. Thanks for helping the first tee. It all starts with your help. By donating your time and resources, our programs are changing lives. Christian McBride is a living example of what your help can do. He has overcome physical disabilities and used golf to become a leader in his community. He is the first representative of the First Tee of Central Florida to attend the prestigious First Tee Life Skills and Leadership Academy. Only 100 junior golfers across the United States are invited. Now the First Tee teaches a lot of skills for life. Not, not only you can use on the course, but also you know in school, at home, and I just think it helps you get through life a little bit easier. Because of the Arnold Palmer Scholarship Fund, the First Tee of Central Florida is able to make life easier for parents like Candace Rains. I have enough money to put one of my kids, but not both of them. Can you help out? He was like, don't worry about it. Just bring both your kids. Financial aid, it's no big deal. With the First Tee being able to have the scholarships, them doing it every session all year round, they have consistency, they always have something to do, and they look forward to it. As a parent, I take a step back. I know nothing of golf. I don't know how to play. I've never hit anything. So I take a step back. I watch how the coaches are. I watch how the coaches encourage my kids. I take what they teach my kids, and I apply it to everyday life. That's what I love about the golf component. It helps them bond with their family. What I love about the core values and the healthy habits, it helps me keep my kids well-rounded. Well, having core values are key. I mean, we use them in Boston to, uh, to win the title in 2008. It sets up a, a blueprint, let's say, and the nine core values for our kids in First Tee is exactly like that. It gives them a blueprint to follow. The nine healthy habits. I get them to eat broccoli, and it's not an issue because, you know, you have to eat broccoli with the First Tee. You have to eat good things, keep that energy up. They go outside and they play more instead of playing Minecraft because they gotta be active. So I love that. With the nine core values, we're talking about responsibility, integrity, honesty. We apply that to everyday life. Justin wants to be the president. That's his thing. How is being in the first tee gonna help you? And he said right off the bat, it keeps me honest. And I'm like, oh, okay, well that was easy. I asked Julian the same question and I was just like, well, how does the first tee help you? He's like, mom, I'm strong. He's like, it keeps my muscles flexible because I'm always swinging. And I'm like, okay, well then how does that help? He goes, it helps with all the other sports. And then they look at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay, so I guess we're doing this forever. He's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Through a new partnership with Celebration Golf Management and Integrity Golf Company, the first tee of Central Florida will add to its original location at Hunters Creek Golf Course to program at nearly a dozen golf courses in Central Florida by the end of 2015. With your help, we can continue to put smiles on the faces of youngsters across Central Florida and change lives through the nine healthy habits and nine core values of the first tee. With your help, you will be part of Elite Company in Central Florida.
Annika has stepped up and we've been so thankful that she has. Uh, we're at the home of Mr. Palmer and we're so thankful that he and his family have had us here. Uh, but we're going to reach out to all of them and we'd uh, like for all of them to contribute in some way to, to what we're doing. It's a golf rich area and uh, I think a lot of people have uh, big hearts and big minds. We've finally been able to bring everybody together. People really seem to rally around the first tee. It's a program that's proven with results. Uh, kids love it, parents love it, the golf community wants to be involved with it. We want to be the best chapter in the country. I mean, we should be the showcase chapter. With the golfers that we have in town and the facilities that we have and the weather we have, I don't see why we shouldn't. Now that you know what the first tee of Central Florida does for our community, join our team. Help us change the lives of children throughout Central Florida. Help us make Central Florida a better place to call home.